Although games in general have a history that spans centuries, electronic games, the precursor to the modern day video game, did not come into existence until the late 1940s. Tic-Tac-Toe, created in 1949, is considered to be the first electronic video game. Tic-Tac-Toe was a simple game that did not utilize physics calculations. It was not until 1958, when Tennis for Two was created, that an electronic game actually used basic physics calculations. Space War, which was completed in 1962, is widely considered to be the first official video game. The game was revolutionary for its time because of its use of physics and mathematical calculations to compute ship motion, gravity, and the position of the stars in the sun. The legitimacy of gaming was strengthened in the late 1960s when Ralph H. Baer created the first video game console, the Odyssey. But due to opposition from cable companies, the Odyssey did not hit the market until 1972. The original Odyssey shipped with a game pack of sports-related games that included table tennis, which is considered a predecessor of the legendary game Pong. These games used basic physics calculations as part of their gameplay. The 1970s saw the rise of Atari, the maker of the first widely successful arcade games, including Computer Space and Pong. The success of arcade games in the 1970s led to the realization of the potential market for home video game consoles. Upon finally being released to the public in 1972, 200,000 Odysseys were eventually sold at the price of $100 each. Seeing Odyssey's success, Atari invented and successfully launched Home Pong, a single game console, in 1975. The first game to incorporate 3D elements, Battlezone, was created in 1980. To improve upon the limited physics of motion offered by earlier arcade games, the makers of Battlezone used vector graphics, which consisted of thin lines plotted mathematically on a high-resolution monitor. 1981 was the year that Nintendo became a serious competitor in the video game scene upon releasing the arcade game Donkey Kong. Inspired by the success of the Odyssey and Home Pong, Nintendo built its first game console for the home, called the Nintendo Entertainment System, in 1985. Super Mario Bros., the game shipped with the NES, featured the jumping action in Donkey Kong while also integrating principles of friction and momentum. Super Mario Bros. had a massive impact on the video game world and a large portion of video games released in the 1980s and early 90s expanded upon the popular real-world physics models used by the game. After the success of Super Mario Bros., it was no longer an option for video game developers to ignore game physics. In the 1990s, the new multi-billion dollar personal computer industry presented new challenges for the video game industry. Not only did PCs offer better sound quality, they also offered better physics and graphics processing. This proved to be popular with consumers as evidenced by the success of early PC games such as Myst, Doom, and Quake, which were all groundbreaking for the use of graphics, physics, audio, and animation. As the PC game market began to grow in the 1990s, the game console market began to shrink. In response, the focus of major video game manufacturers quickly shifted to improving video game graphics. In 1994, after realizing the added costs of rendering better graphics in-house, Nintendo became the first to outsource a portion of its game development. Following Nintendo's lead, games such as Doom 2, Quake 3 Arena, and Unreal were designed using this approach, marking the introduction of the video game engine. Ragdoll physics were also introduced in the 1990s with the creation of the video game Jurassic Park Trespasser. Ragdoll physics allow for the implementation of somewhat realistic, unique death scenes in video games based on a character skeletal system. Some of the biggest players in video game physics entered the market in the 2000s. For example, Havoc's first software development kit was officially unveiled in 2000, and Aegea, the inventor of the physics engine PhysX, was founded in 2002. These physics engines were behind the advanced physics seen in popular games released in the 2000s, such as Half-Life 2, Gears of War, Halo 3, and Bioshock. Now we'll discuss the current state of physics engines and their possible future.